What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day 15 of the Intent Program. We have a leg workout on the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP warm up and then get into that first exercise. We're gonna start off with five reverse lunges each leg. You can do all one leg, you can alternate for five each leg. Then from there, we're going into five body weight squats. So feet shoulder width apart, just regular squat. Then you're gonna drop down on your back and we're gonna do five single leg glute bridges each side. So lift this other leg up, drive up, squeeze. Five on the right, five on the left. Three minutes uh, total. All right, we're back. Got a timer, 10 second countdown team. Three minutes on the clock, we're gonna cycle through this as many rounds as we can. Just trying to get loose. In three, two, one, reverse lunges, five each leg. I'm gonna alternate legs, get a nice stretch on the way back in your hip flexor. Take your time. Let that back knee kiss the ground if you can. And then body weight squats. Then glute bridges. <laughs> and then back to the top, team. Reverse lunges, squats, and bridges. Minute 20. Three, two, one, and rest team. All right, minute 30. Let's get into this first exercise here. We got Bulgarian split squats. We're going with the exact same format here as yesterday and the day before. So if you have a bench, a stool, something to put your foot up on, you're gonna need it. We're gonna go every, we're going Imam format, but we're gonna do every minute 15, 15 reps. So you're gonna have one minute and 15 seconds to complete 15 Bulgarian split squats. We're going with a single dumbbell. So you're gonna hold that dumbbell in the left hand. Your left leg is gonna go up on a bench, stool, chair, whatever you got. We're gonna go down as low as you can. Ideally, ideally the knee kisses the ground. You're gonna drive up and not lock out the right knee. So no lockout on this. 15 reps. You're just pumping, touch, drive. 15 on the right. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute 15. Rest that and then hit the same thing on left for four sets, team. 
This is gonna hurt. If you don't have a bench to put your foot up on, or if you can't stabilize, you can hold on to something, or you can do split squats like so for 15. I am gonna go with a 30 here. See how I feel? And go. Any questions? We're going in 10 seconds, team. Let's get ready to work. Right leg, 15 reps. And let's work. Nice and slow down. 15, no lockout. Finish it fairly quick, because with no lockout, you move through the reps kind of quickly. So you get a little extra reps here before we hit the left leg. You guys can track all your weights in the Train Heroic app if you have access. That way we know when we hit this again in week five, what you did. I went light in week one because my knee was bothering me. Now knees are feeling money. I'm gonna go heavier than this on the next set. I'm gonna go to 40. Left leg though, I'm gonna keep the same weight. We are going in 10 seconds. Weights in the right hand, left leg forward. 15 reps on the left, three, one. And work, nice and low touch. No lockout team, that's the harder part. Especially on this. Set two, I'm gonna go to 40s now for A40. I'm bumping it up 10 pounds. In 25, walk it off. Try to get that heart rate down. Weights in the left hand, right leg is forward. Try to get that back knee to kiss the ground if you can. In 10. Get ready. Four, three, one, and work. 15 on that right leg, no lockout. Fifteen in twenty-three seconds. Try to get that heart rate down. Fifteen seconds. Pick it up. Weights in the right hand. Right leg is up on the bench. In five, three, one, and work. Slow touch. Try. on the next set. If it's feeling easy, you gotta push it a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
20 seconds, we're back to the right leg. Set three out of four. Weights in the left hand. Eight seconds, team. Three, two, no lockout, team. and the hamstrings. Huh. 30 seconds, team. These rest breaks are important, so you can try to lift heavier. If you're getting through the 15 and it's easy, you're probably not going heavy enough. Weights in the right hand now. Left leg for 15, we got one more set. Ready to work. In five, three, two, and work. Team 15. on the last set. Screw it. Trying to push myself here a little bit. 35 seconds. Final one. Come on. Let's get it, team. Seek out that burn. If you got a couple extra reps off in the tank, go for it, too. If you guys hit the 15 and you're like, eh, go to 20. Fuck it. 15 seconds. I'm gonna try to go heavier so I don't have to do that. <laughs> We're going into eight. Get ready. Left hand, right leg, two, and work. I got nothing left. Woo! Oh. Thirty seconds, team. Oh. Last one on the left leg. In twenty. Try to walk it off. Deep breath. In 10, five, three, two, and work. We got 30 seconds to finish, team. Come on. Huh. 
Get a little extra rest here too. Try to get that heart rate down. No sitting down team, walk it off. My heart rate's at 145. Huh. That extra weight makes all the difference. I remember doing this in week one with the lighter weight. Oh my God. Whew. Five seconds to finish. Two. And rest team. All right. We got the exact same format in the second exercise. Except it's not unilateral. So we only got four sets, not eight. Which is essentially what we just did. We're going with a dumbbell front squat. You're gonna take two dumbbells, rack them up on the shoulders. So we're gonna do 15 squats every minute 15, same format for four sets. No lockout. This shit's gonna hurt. So you're gonna have to probably go lighter than you normally would. Rack them up. I want you to focus on driving the elbows up high the whole time. You've gotta fight that chest and shoulders up. Keep your head up, good posture. Deep breath into your belly. Down nice and low, drive up to about right here. We're stopping just before the knees lock out and go right back down. Boom, boom. Get as low as you can for 15 reps. I'm gonna start with 35 as my kind of barometer. See how it feels from there. I'll work my way up if I can. This is kind of a week one for me because I went so light in week one. For you guys, you should know what you used in week one if you were here and you want to at least match that or go a little bit above. It's the same number of reps. We're just adding in an extra set today. So in theory, you could use the same weight or at least, or try to bump it up a little bit. Five seconds team. Get ready, three, two, one, and work. Come on. Abs tight. Oh. Woo. All right, heart rate shack at about 145, but it was a little light. I'm going to 40. If I can get my heart rate down, I could probably keep up. Fifteen seconds. Set two, same thing. <laughs> That's right, we all do moan, Andres. Eight seconds. We're all bitching and moaning in our head. Let's go. <laughs> 15. Come on, team. Woo! Oh, we got 25 seconds. Set three coming up. Champions train on Friday, team. This is the set right here. These are the sets where you become a champion. 10 seconds. Oh, shit. Come on. Short breaks are okay. Hard to catch your breath with that weight on you. And work. Huh. I'm sticking with 40s. Or I'm gonna try. Taking a short break at the top. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh. oh. 
Oh, that hurts. That is hard. That no break is hard on everything. Core, low back, quads, hamstrings. Oh, one more set, team. 10 seconds. I'm taking like 15, 20 seconds off the top here. I need some extra rest. All right, have you take a little extra rest. Steal it back from the other rest break if you need to. Go for it though, if you're ready. We got the full minute 15 though. I'm taking like 15 seconds off. Maybe 20. Huh. Come on, let's get to work. Trying to get to 10. 30 seconds. Minute and a half rest, team. Oh. Shit. That was hard. How you guys doing? If I'm dying, I hope you guys are dying just as much as me. Oh. All right. Same format. Four sets. A minute and 15. We're doing a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. But. We're doing a little tweak. You're gonna try to reach away from your toes at the bottom. Try to put an extra stretch on the hamstrings. Shit. All right, so Romanian means in the deadlift, we're gonna slightly bend those knees, push the hips back as far as we can, reach away at the bottom and then pull up. So like keep that low back flat, go to your hamstrings, feel fully stretched, let those hands pull away from you at the bottom and then pull back in. And all I want you to think about is pulling with this. So as you're pulling those dumbbells back towards you, think about pushing your hips forward and engaging the hamstrings and glutes. Oh, we just hit the quad super hard on those front squats. So we wanna hit more backside. 15 reps every minute, 15. I'm gonna go 25 to start. Try to get my heart rate down. I'm at 150 still. Three. One, and work. Oh, nice and slow. You're not locking out. Oh, no lockout at the top. That's the other thing. Two, that's right, I don't forget about that. That makes it even harder. Come up to about just short of lockout. We don't wanna let the hamstrings rest. Thirty-five, team. Shit, this might be the most fucked up my legs I've felt in a long time. Woo! How are you guys feeling? Those squats just hooked me. Half the Bulgarians. Five seconds, set two, I'm sticking with 25. One, and work. Let those dumbbells reach away at the bottom. Don't stand all the way up. Feet are pretty narrow here, guys. So run underneath your hips. Mm. 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 
15. Deep breaths, try to get that heart rate down. 30 seconds, team. Twenty. Oh. Set three or four coming up in fit ten seconds. Get ready. Two. And let's work. Come on. Shoulders back. Hips back. Stretch. Drive. Huh. 25 seconds team, we got our final set. I'm going to 30 on the last one. Come on. Yeah, they hurt like hell, hundreds. Holy shit. Woo! Oh, 10 seconds, final set. I'm gonna bump up to 30s. Push myself, I don't want to. And let's work. Feet pretty narrow, hips back, feel that stretch, drive, stand up, three quarters. Slow on the way down, feel that eccentric. Oh, here, Rory. Seconds to finish, team. Fifteen. All right, team. Seven. Three. One. And work. All right. All right. If you have a bench that goes on a decline, you're gonna set it up. We're gonna do dumbbell hamstring curls. If you don't have a bench, you can do this on the floor. It's actually a little easier to set up on the floor. It's a little harder on a bench. So, you're gonna set up with your knees on the end of the bench. You're gonna try to grab a dumbbell in between your feet. Grab the top of the bench. You're gonna curl up to about right here. Nice and slow. You can let the dumbbell tap the ground and then drive back up. You don't wanna come all the way up to your butt because you lose tension. So just come to here, touch, and then back up. Nice and slow down back out. You'll do the same thing if you're doing it on the floor. So, here, on the ground, look back, grab that dumbbell, hook it in the, like the, the arches of your feet, curl up, nice and slow down, touch, curl back up. Same concept, team. I'm gonna go with a 20 here. Any questions? You really wanna feel it in those hamstrings. You can also use a band here if you guys don't have a dumbbell. You could hook a band behind your feet and attach it to something. A few options if you don't have a dumbbell or you don't have a bench. Obviously you have dumbbells. Eight seconds, team. 15 reps, every minute 15. Get ready, three, one, and work. Reach back, point the toes, grab it, get it situated, squeeze together, down, up. Oh. 
squeeze together. You're gonna feel on the inside of those hamstrings. seconds team. You can feel it all on the inside of the hamstring here. Kind of mid inside the back of those legs. Really focus on your eccentric. So on the way down, try to feel that hamstring work. 10 seconds. We're going set two. Let's get ready. Point the toes back towards the wall behind you. Squeeze it together. Three, one, and work. Get a good squeeze, abs tight. hamstrings. Rest team. Two more sets. Woo! God, I love this shit even though it hurts. Is that wrong? Is that weird? No? Yeah? Oh, it feels so good afterwards though. What a great way to end the week. Thank you guys for joining in with me. I appreciate it. I have fun doing this every day with you guys. 12 seconds. You ready? Set three. Let's go. Five, three, one, and work. I'm gonna drop to a 15 in the last set. I'm having a hard time getting a good contraction. Hamstrings are cooked. Final set in 30, team. Woo! Oh. 16 seconds, team. Final set of 15. Make it a good set. Drop the weight if you need to, no egos. Go slow on the way down. This one's an isolation movement, it's not a power move. Three, two, one, and work. seconds to finish team. Finish strong. We got 12 seconds to finish your reps and we're in our final circuit of the day. In four, two, one. And rest, team. All right, we got a minute and a half only. I'm gonna increase that rest probably to be able to talk through this. So we got four exercises we're gonna do. Really, it's three, but we have a right and left on the first movement. So 45 seconds each, 20 seconds of rest between the t all of them, only 35 seconds rest between rounds, and we're going for three rounds. 
So the first move is a donkey calf raise with your knee over your toe. So I'm gonna get a small dumbbell here. I'm gonna put my toe on it. I'm gonna bend my knee and I'm gonna drive up and squeeze. If you can balance on one leg or you can use the other hand, of, you can use that back foot to balance if you need to. You can hold a little weight, but I'm gonna go body weight and just try to drive up as high as I can. But what I'm trying to do is keep that knee bent and get a big stretch while we're bent over. Get a good squeeze at the top, try to pause for a second and then switch. If you don't wanna do it on a dumbbell, you can just do it standing. You're bent over, we're trying to get that knee over top of the toe. We're working a little bit different calf muscle than when we were doing the straight leg raises. So we're gonna go 45 seconds on the right leg, 45 seconds on the left leg. Then we're going weighted V-ups, optional weighted. So you're gonna sit on your bench, butt back, legs going straight, you're gonna crunch up, nice and slow back out, in. If you wanna make that harder, you're gonna grab the dumbbell, just like we did before, drive up. I'm probably gonna go 10 pounds there, hold on. Let me pause it. Pause, guys. That's our second, that's our third movement. Fourth movement is a weighted sit-up. You can do this on the ground, or you can do this on a bench. You're gonna hold a weight on your chest. If you're doing it on the ground, you're gonna hook your feet under some dumbbells. On a bench, you're gonna go all the way back, drive up for 45 seconds with a weight or body weight. If not, you can do it on the ground. If that's too hard for you, you can just do crunches on, your, on the ground on, the back, on your back. Any questions, team? We good? Knees over toe, calf raises on the right leg, 45 seconds. This is a new movement, so before you add any weight in the other hand or try to balance, maybe just do a body weight and get a feel for it. We are going in three, two, one, and work, team. Bend that knee, lean over top of it, drive and squeeze, big stretch. Try to keep that knee bent past your toe, and then get as high as you can. Big stretch and pause at the top. Eight. Four. Two. One. And rest. 20 seconds, we're switching legs. Whew. And 15. All this is probably a little easier with a shoe on too, guys, if you, it's probably easier to grab dumbbells and stand on it, but it's up to you guys. One, and work, lean over, squeeze. Come on, team. Ten. Six. Three. One. Rest. Weighted V-ups or body weight, whatever you got. You can also do these on the floor. Lean back with your hands behind you and just trying to bring the chest to the knees. I'm gonna go light here, though. It's 45 seconds. It's a lot of rest. In five. And drop the weight if you start to struggle. If your back starts to hurt, and go. Squeeze up nice and slow back out. Come on, 10 seconds. Two, one, press. Woo, weighted sit up. I'm gonna go lighter here than I normally would. My core is cooked. 
Core includes the low back. I'm gonna go with a 25. See how I do. In three, one, and work. Dumbbell on the upper chest, all the way down. Let the head touch and then drive up. Toe, calf raise, donkey style. Oh. Right foot, right calf. In ten, five, three, one, and work. And then one more full set after this round. I don't know what I'm saying. Left foot coming up in seven, three, one, and work. Fifteen seconds, team. Three, two, one. Rats, we got weighted V ups coming up. I'm going with ten again here. In twelve seconds. Five, three, two, and let's work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Donkey calf raise right foot in five, three, one, and work. Seconds, team, come on. Five, two, one. Rest, team. Switching legs in 20. In five, three, two, one. And work. Come on, twenty five seconds left. Come on, team. Five. 25, I meant, sorry, 20 seconds. Woo! Twelve. Ten. Oh. Four. Two. One. Rest. 20 seconds. Way to sit up. You guys can tell I'm running out of gas. I'm just saying numbers in the middle of this shit. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm telling you time that's not even left yet. Hoping it was five seconds. All right, last movement. We are done, team. Let's go. Three, one. Let's work. 45 seconds. Make them good reps. All the way down, let your head touch. Think about crunching with the abs and not using momentum in your lower back. Feel that full core work. Twenty seconds. Five. Two. One. And rest, team. Woo! 
Woo! All right, guys. Awesome work. That was fun. You guys are champions for joining in on a Friday. Have an awesome weekend. We'll be back with week four. Upper body workout on Monday. Thank you guys again. Have an awesome day. I'll see you then. Bye.